everybody, welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband colon Diplomacy. Sorry about the lack of videos over the last week. Real life work and real life life got in the way, sadly, as it as it often does in my life. So yeah. How's it going, Ferrandimus? Not bad, you know, not bad. We're earning money. We're in a good situation. Nothing wrong is happening except I think Matt held once out of the war party, which, you know, would be a shame, but who really cares? I can't be able to pursue those forest bandits into the forest. So what are we doing right now then? Because all the wars have stopped. We're still getting our mercenary payment from the Rodox, but all the wars have stopped. We could hunt down some deserters if we're bored, and I think we're going to. How are we going to earn more money? Because right now, if we just look at the notes, we've got some soldiers ready to upgrade as well, which is lovely. Uh, that's the wrong thing to click on, isn't it? It's reports that we need. And then weekly budget report. We're making money, you see. We're making some money. We're not making enough money, though. We need more. We need more, damn it. We need more money. So what we're going to be doing is... Well, hoping for a war to break out, trying to find a tournament to actually bloody well win this time. And then maybe we will, I don't know, if those don't happen, we could maybe happen upon ourselves a caravan that might require a loot in or something. I'm not sure, but we're going to have to do something because the way diplomacy works with the um, money system is the profit that we make, we don't like have, if that makes sense. You know, the money that we have on our person that we can use to buy weapons and stuff we don't actually have yet and we have to go and speak to a guy to basically take it out kind of like a banking system anyway these train nord footmen or whatever the hell they think they are not really gonna sell okay i was gonna say they're not really gonna put up much of a fight but they seem to be doing a damn good job of it so far i'm a bit rusty apparently after my week off of mountain blade there we go we're getting a few hits on that it's all good Someone got knocked unconscious, but we're getting the kills down now. There we go. I think I just knocked off someone's horse. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. What's going on now, chaps? Let's try and sort ourselves out now. I know it's late, and I know we're tired, and I know we're maybe bored, and that can cause you to be a bit rusty on the battlefield, I guess. There we go. We got it done. We got it done. No, we didn't, because there's still another one up. Is that? No, there isn't. Okay, well done, everyone. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Little bit rusty and Baheshta sadly got wounded, but we did get a capture, which is always nice. And hopefully lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of money. Nothing. Nothing worth taking. Uh, so we'll leave that. And we get 32 dinars. So yeah, so as you... Captain, Captain needs to have our tongue cut out. Well, Baheshta, not pointing fingers, but you were the one that got yourself knocked out. When the loot was piled up after the last battle, I found among the enemy's baggage a very decent cooking pot. Often I have wished to find such a pot, so I could boil some of the stews that my people used to warm their bellies during the winter months. But Catherine grabs the pot and tells me that I will not be allowed to taint it with her heathen food. With his heathen food. I should read properly. <laughs> I really should know to read properly. And taint it with heathen food, and that it should properly belong to her. I yielded the pot to her, but I will not tolerate such disrespect in the future. Well, I like you... Um, you know, and we're not going to have any racist stereotypes, any discrimination amongst our ranks. So I'm on your side here, Beheshta. Anyway, that was a nice little, you know, warm up, get the blood going. So as you can see, we've only got 67 dinars, we've got 302 to pay. But if we go back to our weekly budgets, we've got wealth and we'll have new wealth because we'll be making money. So the money that we get from looting and from whatever... We're not actually going to be paying our soldiers because we've got this wealth, if that makes sense. At least I think. So, we, yeah. Basically, this is going to be a nice kind of nest egg that hopefully we're going to make very, very swift use of later on in the game when we perhaps get our own fight. But for now, let's just continue to be a surge. Without any wars going on, and considering we still represent the Rodox, I'm not sure if politically we're allowed to go and just loot caravans willy-nilly, but I really don't see what other option we've got. I mean, we could always just go and try and maybe save those... Oh, blimey, there's a lot of them down here. I was going to say go and save those manhunters. We'll be able to catch them. 5.4 versus 5.8. Oh, and it's only just so. And 31 Swadi and Crossbowmen. Let's maybe settle down there, thank you. So yeah, so what I was thinking about doing is thinking about who do the Rodox not like? Probably the Saranids and the Swadians, so let's go loot one of those caravans. Which I realise members of our party may not be so privy to, but... Privy's not the right information, but... The right word. The right information. They might, they might not approve of said action. 
but there's not much else we can do really to earn money. I mean, I could say let's upgrade them, but as you can see, we've only got 67 dinars because we seem to be inclined to lose every bloody tournament we bet on ourselves on. But that, that's that, really. Basically, just need a bloody war. Just give us a bloody war, man. Just give me a war. Factions, Kingdom of the Rodox. Truce will expire in 13 days with the Swadians. No outstanding issues with the Saranids. We could go start some. We could go start some. Just be super selfish, right? Anyway, let's let's pick on these guys first. Your luck has run out, Rich. Prepare to die. Of course, we're still looking for a tournament. If we can find a tournament, you know, we're not going to get the most use out of it. God, I hate fighting in this kind of terrain. We're not going to get the most use out of it because, obviously, we're not going to be able to fully bet the maximum amount on ourselves. But that's... That's gonna have to be fine, isn't it? Oh, where's my big axe? Where's my big axe? I want it. I want. I want to be swinging, swinging it into heads. If they don't mind, that's more like it. But Hesh with a kill. Matt Held with a kill. Randomus with two kills. Lovely. With three kills. And four kills. Not quite. Not quite there. But this has been somewhat a routing. Oh, that was that was some lovely physics there. Beautiful. Lovely. Yeah. This has been well and truly. Well and truly massacred here for these poor chaps. Ah, oh, and I still missed even at this angle. Ah, oh, and I still missed. Yeah, no, I hit the horse. God damn it. God damn it, Randomus. No. No, come on. Can I hit his legs down? Someone got him. Good job, someone. Very nice. So yeah, please can we have a war. The more of these we capture, the more money we're going to get. And we'll absolutely hire these guys. It ups this, but as I said, this being more than this doesn't really matter in diplomacy. Because we do have more money than it might look like we've got. But uh, leather jerkin, not too bad. Actually, worth a little bit of money. Nothing else really. Okay, let's leave that there. we got 49 dinars there. So if you don't mind, I prefer not to be deployed anywhere near a lion. After that last battle, he said to me during the last battle, the enemy was bearing down on us. And he says, step aside, merchant. This is night's work. Next time I will step aside and let him take a spear in the gut. Okay, let's, uh, let's just cool it down now, guys. You're in the archer team, Marnid, and he's in the cavalry team, so I don't see why we need to be anywhere near each other. Anyway, where the hell on the map are we? We're over here. Right, let's go to Halmar. And try and sell what we've got. I don't know. I just I just need these productive enterprises, man. I just need them. I just need them. And then once we've got a few, we can go and we can declare for someone. We can get our castle. And then we can find a guy and we can take stuff out of our wealth. You know? We might even be able to spend our wealth on productive enterprises. I'm not too sure just yet. But basically, we're earning money now. And that's good. And I'm still, I'm still going to just keep everyone as they are. We'll have a mass upgrade when we have lots of money. And now we don't. We'll just head. We'll, we'll make camp. We'll let everyone have a little bit of a sleep. And now we'll head over. Lovely. Oh, who be this? Are they annoying? Are we still in the kind of stage where we're going to do random quests for people? I feel like. I feel like now would be the time because I feel I kind of seem to be at a bit of a wall here in terms of what we can do that we go declare for someone i think i'm gonna go declare for the rodox they seem like a hearty bunch of chaps don't they um what are we even looking for we're, we're looking for a ransom broker we're not gonna find him at the marketplace we're gonna find him at the tavern and we're not gonna find him at the tavern because there's only a wandering ashik and a high blade well that 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 does rather suck for other doesn't it hmm. well that was a waste of a ride wasn't it we might as well still go to the marketplace and sell that food wise uh, have rotten beef for a quid if you want. Uh, smoke fish, smoke fish, smoke fish and bread. We're basically Jesus. We're feeding our team on fish and bread. Yeah. Okay, well, let's not delay it anymore. I don't even know why I was delaying it. I just wanted to kind of have like a business empire first before I decided where I was going to pitch up. You know, I wanted to have my kingdom in the south, my business in the north. You know, I think I described it. Whereas eventually I'd own the south and declare war on the north, but I own all the steel and beer in the north so they're all going to be unmotivated and unequipped so we can just walk it i think we're thinking way too far in the future right now let's just get ourselves a nice little fife let's make use of some of the diplomacy aspects of having a fife like that um yeah and have a have a merry old time of the situation right let's have another camp just on the outskirts of the forest you know and wh why although my FPS counter says I'm at 60 right now. Why does it feel like it's at about 2? Excuse me, laddie. I mean, Captain, there's something I need to tell you. 
You did no woman a great service by taking her into your company, but I'm afraid I'm finding this no more to my liking than driving a wagon. Too much cold, too much hunger, and at the end, all I see in front of me is a hole in the ground. So I'll be off, although I don't know where. To tell you the truth, I'm downright appalled by your choice of companions, happy about your style of leadership, and appalled by the general state of affairs. Well, general estate affairs are going to be getting a lot better very soon, and the companions, yeah, well, I guess you've had your arguments, but you're, you're, you know, you're being mean to people, man. So, I even know if I want you to stay. You've got some nice equipment, but you'll still have that nice equipment if I run into you later on, right? So, um... Maybe, maybe we'll send you off. Maybe, 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 Catherine, you know, you've been good for us, but that's it. Slater, mate. See you later. She'll, she'll still be in the world. We might, we might run into her later. You never know. For now, let's go find someone here and maybe, maybe you know, grab ourselves a castle or something. You know, maybe a little, maybe a little village, you know, something, something just to call home. You know, might, might not be so bad might not be so bad uh, and then it's more money that we're earning and hopefully we can get properly involved in a war and just go and absolutely just loot villages willy-nilly which i'm not gonna feel great about but it's how you we gotta earn money man we gotta have money and you know countless villages have been looted by heroes everyone thinks julius caesar's a hero how many villages were looted by him or villages were pillaged by him but he won so he got to write history as him as the hero right and that's it. That's it. That's how it works, man. Anyway, there's a there's a Veluca patrol there. They're not going to be able to help us much, but hopefully someone in here can. Or, you know, maybe there'll be a tournament. <laughs> you never know, right? At least a ransom broker that we can maybe just chuck these fellas into. If they're... Oh, come on now. We were going to be friends with these guys. Well, I, I, I guess they would try their luck if they see how I handle myself with a blooming bow and arrow, right? And if I block like that, right, that was so poor. It's okay. These are just bandits. We're, we're, we're a renowned warrior that loses tournaments in the early rounds now, so we don't have to fear anything. And that was it. We get 150 dinars. It's actually a terribly large amount for us right now, sadly. Anyway, they fall apart us. Fall about us, whoever the hell. We'll probably a rival iron merchant or something, if we're honest. But they're not going to get us that easily. Anyway, what we're looking for is Ransom Broker. And it's empty, except for some mercenaries. Well, that's good, isn't it? That's really good. Uh, is there anyone here? Any, any, Anyone in the castle? Go to the castle. And it's empty. No, it's not. It is uh, it is empty, except for Lady Brina. Well, she might be able to tell us where the king is. Maybe go... Go maybe just say we're going to be a roadblock for a bit. You know, you know. Uh, I'd like to know the location of your king. And he's in Ibdela's castle. Ibdela's castle? If I remember the map, isn't that very far in the north, or is it just here? I could have sworn it's very, very far in the north, Ibdela's castle. Oh, no, he's there. Okay, well, we'll go to Jelkala, then. We'll ride through the night. It's okay. I don't think any bandits on the road are going to try their luck against the 60 of us. Loads of soldiers ready to upgrade. It's really good, but I just want to hold on to our money for a bit now. And when our next payment comes through, it'll be interesting to see if we pay it out of our... Well, we're not going to be paying it out of our words because we're actually making money, aren't we? Because of what we've got. Yeah, not much money, but some money. Oh, no, wait. So th our wealth is this. There's a there's a system. There's a system with this. There's, a, there's not just wealth. There's, like, something else. But we would just get the money then. Okay, well, I've, I've described something that doesn't exist then, perhaps. Maybe only in my mind. Or maybe it's something I saw for Banner Lords. I'm not sure. Who's excited for Banner Lords? I am. Yes, very much. But still, a rather uneventful couple of days. Kurgis and the Nords piece have expired. It doesn't really affect us too much because we don't even have any ironworks in Nordic land yet as much as we would like to. There's a, uh, there's a, there's a Count Tarshus. Excuse me, Commander. There's something I need to tell you. I would like to inform you. I wish to serve our relationship. I intend to seek alternative employment. To tell you the truth, I'm appalled by your dreams and companions. Happy about your style of leadership. I'm appalled. No, man, you're my trainer. I need you to stay. I just clicked the wrong thing, didn't I? Sugar. Well, bye then. Bloody deserters. They'll be back. They'll be sorry. They'll be sorry. They'll, they'll be kicking themselves when they see our big lovely castle soon. There's a ransom broker here at the very least. And there's De Shabby. Well, hello, Deshavi. Greetings, you so you look like someone who's getting to know me. Why is that? You bring a personal prince. So, man. 60 quid. 73 quid. Lovely. 
Lovely. Right, we're not looking to pick anyone else up just now. I'm very sad we lost Lezelek. Even more so down to it just being bloody a misclick, you know. Uh, but still, is that King 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 the Guy? That's not King the Guy. Is that King the Guy? That's King the Guy. King Gravith, as he's probably more fondly known, rather than King of the Guy. Hey, man. You got any castles up up for grabs? I'm Randomus. I'm King Gravith, the ruler of Jokala, and the lord of Jokala. Well, I'm actually a mercenary for you, man. And uh, I'd, I'd like to kind of kind of up our relationship a little bit, you know. You've yet to show yourself as a competent commander, Randomus. Take your spear to my enemies and prove that you're worthy. Well, I bloody well would have had a bloody war for me to fight in, you fool. Right, okay. Maybe we'll just go start one. Right, where are these guys? The Saranids. Let's go loot us some caravans. We've tried to be honourable. But the relentless wheel of progress stops for no man. The next Saranid, something that we see. Oh, it's not going to have a good day. Um, Yeah, I can't bother to fight for that. Well, that's just no good at all. And we lost Lezalit, which is a real shame. But it's okay. We've still got Jer um, Jeremus, who is important. We've still got Borsha, who's important. We've still got these guys who are good fighters. We've still got Lion and Beheshter and Matt Held, who are good fighters. So let's just not lose anyone else, okay, please? Um, we could maybe think about upgrading these guys. Veteran Footman now. Uh, Rodok trained Crossbowman. Oh, I mean, I mean we're, we're, we're getting there, aren't we? We really are getting there. Rodok trained Crossbowman. Blimey, blimey, blimey. Let's just loot some stuff first. There we go. There's more money. Lovely. And so, yeah. We need to try and start a war. And then win the war. And then through the war, prove that we're honour. <laughs> so what we're going to do is an incredibly dishonourable deed and more dishonourable deeds. So that a war starts. So that we can fight honourably in the war to prove that we're honourable. That's the situation right now. And... I think looting a border village will be uh, probably the best way to go about doing that. But let's think about who's going to be upset at our actions if we do that and maybe send them on a little mission. Um, Marnid will not like that we do that. So we'll have a have a quick chat and be like, uh, you know, I'd like to ask if, you know, maybe you can, uh, you know, maybe you can go do something, man. You know, leave us for a week, you know, go go see your family. Uh, so if you're interested in the events of the Kingdom of the Nords, which I am, I can still make contact with my old trading partners in Sargov. They're usually well informed about politics. Go do that, man. Go do that. So he's gone for a week and I believe Ferentis won't like it either because he's on his redemption mission, isn't he? Everyone else should be fine with it. Uh, I'd like to ask you the same question, Matt. Captain, while well, I am strictly not welcome in Uxgal, I would be able to make contact with some former tenants of an estate of mine nearby. I granted them ownership after my abrupt departure, and they are now well placed in society, and also less inclined than most to hold my crime against me. If you give me a few days, I may be able to collect some interesting information about the Nords from Uxcal. Did we miss a big battle? Uxcal, the Nords? Well, go do that. We're going to certainly know everything about the Nords now, aren't we? Uxcal, wow, they did take it. Okay, we missed that, didn't we? <laughs> missed that a little bit. Well, still, the two people that would have maybe got upset by what we're about to do now won't get upset by what we're about to do, so that's good. Um, so let's go do it. Early morning. I'm not going to feel good about this, but we have to. You know, we can't just run around the world waiting for wars to break out on their own. We have to break them out for us. So we're doing this in the name of the Kingdom of the Rodox. We are still their mercenary. Sorry about this, guys. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about this. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That, oh, no, Bundak and Jeremus didn't like that either. Rats. And we didn't even get anything from it. Well, that was just a complete waste of time. Right, let's... Uh, okay, yeah, Captain, I do not like to steal from poor villagers. I didn't want to steal from a man. I, I wanted to I wanted to burn their homes instead, but we didn't get the option, so... Sorry. Anyway, if we get... If we can just loot a caravan. That would probably be better, wouldn't it? There's no person there, is that? Oh, there's Emir Gulasson. We're going to have to be quick about this. I demand something from you. Hand over your gold and valuables now. Are you robbing us? Yes, of course I'm robbing you! We lose honour, but we might gain a war with which we can get good at honour. This is this is an honour investment here, guys. Okay, right, so we should be able to do this very well. I feel bad about what I'm doing. This is not a good day. 
we're, we're not going to go and have a beer after this. We're going to go and look ashamedly at ourselves in a mirror, if we're lucky enough to have a mirror. But it needs to be done for the greater good. Or at least for our next venture. Karen got the rubbish. And we've advanced to level 12. So there we go. We can all feel good about that. Oh, come on. Even the greatest leaders of history probably did this once or twice. Caesar definitely did. Um, I don't know. Lu Bu definitely did. But we wouldn't really call him a great leader, would we? Getting himself blooming drowned by Cao Cao or whatever the hell happened in the end. He's just a maniac as Lubu, even if that legend actually happened. Who really knows what happens in the Three Kingdoms period? I'd like to think it's as it happened in the games. But, you know, something tells me that guys flying over mountains and stuff maybe isn't quite within the realms of realistic possibility. But maybe it is. You know, you never know. Anyway, are we done here? Are we done here? I don't feel good. Can we just leave a Rodot banner or something somewhere? There we go. Did we get the kill there? I think our horse got the kill more than anything, but we did it. So, loads of upgrades. Loads and loads of upgrades. We didn't lose anyone, just a guy wounded. Um, I feel so bad I'm not even going to take those as prisoners. But I'm certainly going to be looting and looting and looting. Right, so they had linen. They had a stubborn saddle horse, which is worth quite a lot, as a matter of fact. Uh, very nice. And a lame saddle horse. Okay. Um, Sounded sword. Swing 26 to 19. Um, a vooge. Man, these, these aren't half bad, are they? Hell yeah. Okay. It's really not that good a turnout, though. Not that good a, like, take from a raiding caravan. Uh, we'll take these, but, yeah, I'm disappointed with what we got there. Hopefully we get loads of money. 87 dinars. Bloody business, Captain. A bloody business. Although a necessary one, of course. Francis, I believe, shares my ambivalence about the constant fighting. Francis, uh isn't here, Jeremus. Are you okay? Have you been having too much of your own medicine? Are you one of those weird doctors that gets high on his own supply? Because cause Ferentis is in Uxcow right now, mate. You know? Um. Okay. V very good, man. Yeah, very good. Um. So that... I mean, I guess we gained a bit from it, but really... Really wasn't great, was it? I was hoping for a hell of a lot more. Um... Yeah, our dirty deeds have um, not gone... I mean, they've been as dirty as I might have imagined, but they've certainly not been as rewarding. Let's have a look at our inventory. So we've got a couple of horses to sell, which the sell price has gone way down already. 18 quid, 79 quid. Oh, man. You know, sometimes you do that and you're just sorted. All right, let's see if Count Relan, maybe he'll be like, this piece all suits me. I'm Randomus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tell me that the piece still suits you. No, no, don't tell me to. Well, we're going to Gel Calor, aren't we? So I guess we can we can do that. I guess we can do that because we're going to Gel Calor. But I am not happy with how that's gone, to be honest. We've invested honour and not really got anything back. There. We're not even really earning that much money. There are some Rodot crossbowmen there. Are we going to start? Are we going to start? Are we going to start? Yeah, no, we got to get to Joe Keller. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's just really not gone very well at all. We're getting money. We just need a bloody war to break out. Come on, declare war on the Kurgits or something. We can declare war on the Kurgits. Come on, King bloody guy. You can do it. King Graveth, you can do it, man. How's our weekly budget coming along? So, I mean, yeah, we're getting money, man. We're getting money, but... It's not enough, is it? If we'd won those tournaments, we'd be laughing right now. But we didn't win those tournaments. We find another tournament. And we tried very, very hard. <laughs> Maybe. And then we can go up to wherever the hell it's going to be in the north and buy another ironworks. And another ironworks. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Until event. Ooh! There's people converging on Jail Cannon. Maybe there is to be a tournament. I'm Randomus. Lovely shirt, mate. Lovely shirt. Uh, do you have any tasks? I have something of the lawless villain. No, no, tell us the quick. Why not? Why not? Let's go kill us a villain. Let's go kill us a villain. Where is he? Where is the villain? Where is the villain? Hunt down, carry the quick in Epesh. Where is that? Hopefully near. I don't really want to ride for days and days to get him. Oh, it's just there. We can go to Yarlan after this. Which is fine, but I'm looking for pieces that ill suit things. And um, we've got a 
get to Count Estrog as well, who's going to be at Jalcala. Hello, what is it, Count Loroquin? I remember you from Uxcal. Uh, you probably know that I'm the villain. No, we, we don't have time for that. That's that's a mean thing to do. Just worry about your own taxes, bro. Okay, so Count Estrog is not here. Great. He's not here. Okay, it's a pretty good price for this uh, for, for that. Um, you know, you know what? Let's just sell him these for the sake of it. I don't think any of us need this. And I guess you know, 430 quid. It's money, isn't it? Really. Um, but the fact that Count Estrog ain't here is very disappointing. Where the hell's he gone now? Or is that Count Estrog? That looks like King Gravis, as a matter of fact. No, it's not. It's not. It's it's Lady Asola. Well, sorry for mistaking you for an old man, Lady Asola. I'll be off now. Um, Count Laracorn is there. Where's Count Estro? He must have gone this way, then. Is that him? That's Count Raishin. <clears throat> well, let's go to Epesh. That's Count Estro there, isn't it? No, that's King Gravis. God damn it, where's Count Estro gone? Let's ask him. Let's ask the guy. Is that him? Yeah, there he is. Got a, got a, got a, got a, got a thing for you. There you go. Go around and when you see him again, lovely. Apparently he didn't like us. Maybe that's just because our moustache is better than his. Shut up, you. Let's get on to a pesh we go. Just need a war. We just need a war. Please give us a war. Oh dear, oh dear. Still, we're getting quests done. We're, we're getting money. Just not that quickly. The morale is only above average. Probably because we're not really doing a lot right now. But we'll go to Yalem. We'll see what's going on there. Maybe a tournament. Probably not a tournament. Anyway, Apesh. We will go to the Lich Center. And I'll get my big axe. And I'll swing it into the face of that guy. All right. We're looking for a nervous man. That is the village elder. We might as well meet him, seeing as he's there. Hello, mates. I am looking for this guy. Yep, yeah, lovely. Thanks very much indeed. I think he's going to be behind this building. No, 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 neither of these buildings. This building. This building right here. Thought you could get away from me, could you? Thought you could... Get off the horse. Thought you could get away from me, bro. Uh, do we have to signal the attack? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Crosshairs. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever. A lightly tail. Lovely. Lovely. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Well, that's that done, then. Let's now head on to Yallen. Seeing as we're here, maybe find a tournament. Maybe, I don't know. We still got we still got to collect our bounty for that guy. Which is good, but we might as well go to Yalan first. You never know what will be here. You never know. But yeah, a war needs to break out. Because I need to go and loop some villages and some caravans. And actually get rewarded for them. Unlike I did really with that, that one there. The amount of soldiers we've got to upgrade though is great. And you know what? I think it's about time we did it. And just then saw what money we had left. Let's have a look. Two to be upgraded. That's 40... 80 it's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot isn't it let's be honest so let's go to Yalan first let's upgrade Jeremus and Baheshta while we remember and ourselves you know let's not forget to do that let's have a look at this guy agility um iron flesh archery pretty simple one for Baheshta and it's gonna be a pretty simple one for Jeremus as well intelligence and then whatever the hell works with that uh so let's see his skills int Surgery, and I guess he can go to... I guess we'll give him Weapon Master. He's going to be good at archery eventually, isn't he? So there we go. That's that. And then ourselves as well. We will go for Charisma, because I was hoping it would allow us to get another leadership point, which would reduce our cost of our party, but it didn't. So we'll go for Iron Flesh, and we'll go for... Bit of, bit of archery, yeah, bit of archery, bit of archery, bit of pole arm, bit of, bit of everything, you know, yeah, bit of everything, yeah, I think so. Okay. Still, we, we I mean, we're, get, we're getting there. We're getting, we, we're getting there very slowly. Very, 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 very slowly. But still, there's Camp Trimbow up here. The party has nothing to eat. Oh, no. Let's quickly buy something. Let's quickly buy them stuff to eat. Dried meat, lovely. Chicken, lovely. Uh, cheese. Yes, lovely, lovely cheese. Lovely, lovely fish. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're in a feast. We're in a feast right now. That is an oversight on my part. Because normally you get loads and loads of food. Uh, sorry, normally you get loads and loads and loads of... Um, well, that's better. <sighs> it's more money, though, isn't it? 